Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about the visual recognition node in Node Red. The visual recognition node uses the Watson Visual Recognition Service to identify faces, scenes, objects, and text and images you upload to the service. Setting up the visual recognition service is pretty easy. All you have to do is head over to Bluemix. And in the catalog, we're gonna search for the visual recognition service. We're just gonna click on it. We're gonna leave it unbound. We're gonna select the free version, and then we're gonna click create. Once that's done and you're on this page, head over to service credentials, view credentials, and we're gonna copy this API key right here into Node Red. Also make note of the fact that it may take up to five minutes for this key to become active as it says right here. So in Node Red, we're gonna paste this API key right here, and then we're just gonna click done. Now, there are two ways you can go about using this node. I'm gonna go over the basic way, which only requires three nodes, and then I'm gonna show you the more complicated way which just provides you with a web page for you to interact with. So for the basic use of the visual recognition node, all we need is an inject node and a debug node. We're gonna wire those up together. In the inject node, we're gonna change the payload to a string, and then we're gonna enter the URL of an image. So I have this image right here of this couple, and I'm just gonna copy the URL, and I'm gonna paste that in the payload. We click done. In the visual recognition node, we're gonna keep the detect to classify an image, and then the language we're gonna leave as in English. On the debug node, we're gonna change the output from message.payload to message.result. Click done, and then deploy. and then inject it. So now in the debug tab, we have that one image was processed. And as we further expand this images array, it gives us the URL. And then we're gonna go into the classifiers array, which will tell us a little bit more about the image. So there are seven classes in the classifier array. And we're just gonna go over each of them really quickly. So these are the seven classes, the visual recognition node, recognized in the image. And they all have their own respective scores out of one. So out of one, the service was 0 0.851 sure that there was a person in the image. It was 0 0.581 sure that there were sweethearts in the image. And as you can see, there are a whole bunch of other classes that we can go through. We have a people class, which has a score of 0 0.59. There's a couple class, there's a woman class, et cetera. So that's the basic way to use the visual recognition node. You just input a URL, change the output of the debug node to message.result, and then deploy. So for the more complex flow, we're gonna head over to GitHub and copy the JSON code for the flow. So it's located right here. Click on the web page flow file, click on the raw version of it and then copy all of it. In Node Red, we're gonna go over to Menu, Import, and then Clipboard, and then just paste the code right here. And we wanna import it into our current flow. So as you can see, there's a lot going on right now, but let's just go over what everything means here. First, we have this HTTP request with the URL Rico, which just launches the web page. Next, we have this switch node. And all this switch node does is test to see if you've inputted an image URL in the text field. And if there isn't an image URL in the text field, that's gonna suggest a few selected images taken from the main Watson visual recognition demo page. But if there is a URL, it's gonna go over to this change node right here, which is pretty much gonna take that URL and assign it to the payload so that it can be provided as input for the visual recognition node right here. As you see, we're gonna to have to input our API key again. So just head over to Bluemix, copy your API key, and then just put it right in there. 
and then select the language as English and just click done. After it's been put through the visual recognition node, it's gonna go to this report template node over here. The report template node is connected to this HTTP response node, which will format the output return from the visual recognition node into a table format so that it's easier to read. This function and this debug node, just make sure that your output is also being printed to the debug tab over here. So to start up the web page, we're gonna deploy this. We're gonna copy the URL of our node red application. We're gonna delete everything until the slash after the net, and then we're gonna type in Rico. And here we have the web page. As you can see, these are the few suggested images that the web page provides you, but you can also input your own image URL in this text field and then analyze it. So let's just do that. We're gonna copy the URL of the same image. And then we're just gonna paste it in here and then analyze it. And here you go. It gives you the classes and the respective score for each class. Since we use the same image, we can check to make sure that we receive the same or close to the same score we did when we used the basic way of the visual recognition node. So as you can see, person received a 0 0.51, just like it did over here. Sweetheart, a 0 0.581, and the same over here. And same goes for all the other classes. So there you go. That's the visual recognition node in Node-RED. Hopefully you learned something and I'll talk to you in the next video. Goodbye.